Fellow loves. If you can hear screaming and that, it's just kids playing outside. Um, must be something in the energies. My kids don't want to go to sleep even though it's hours past my time as well. And I don't want to go to sleep either, so I've got vibrant energies. Um... drawn to these and the way that Snoopy was looking at the the white and the yin yang I believe and I may be wrong correct me if I'm wrong that the um, the white in the yin yang represents the masculine so somebody might be um, doing some checking up on the divine masculine or a masculine or it might be the other way around that the masculine's been snoopy mind your own beeswax let spirit take care of it well do what you want it's your life <laughs> okay so i was drawn to the um dragon wisdom tarot no, not tarot. Oh my goodness. Oracle. And I always put all the cards below. And the information below. Okay, something's trying to come through. Hmm. But then I felt, I was like, I want to use the dragon cards, but don't open them. Like, okay. And then I was looking through the other cards and I was drawn to the unicorn oracle. And when I w opened it up to shuffle, the dragon card initiation came out. And this is the first time I've read it as initiation. I've been reading it as intuition. And I went to tend to one of my children while I was setting up. And when I came back, these cards had moved into that position. I kid you not. So I've just left them alone. Like they're not perfectly aligned, but that's pretty, I don't know, it's creepy. I didn't put them like that. I would have had them straight. Um, so this one, okay, so this is the initiation card of Queen Alba of this dragon tribe. It is possible I will do a meditation. I'm hearing instructions from her. I'm not sure if it will be in this video or what. Ow, pain right here. Um, and then this card is the spiritual warrior from uh, Magic of the Unicorns. And it says, number 37, spiritual warrior, show you are a wise leader, command the universe. Ugh, I really want to straighten them. <laughs> and this one is number seven, listen to your heart. Awaken psychic abilities and trust in the infinite. I'm sorry about the fly, the only fly in the house, and it's been drawn to the light. <laughs> As are we all. Now this is a Lego avocado. So a building block of health. I believe avocado is high in omegas and things. So that might be a sign for somebody. And this 
it's just a diamante it was a sticky one but on the back the sticky has gotten all grotty it's still shiny but it's a bit grotty right so I feel like um, that's to do with vision if you're having issues with your vision perhaps I'm not a doctor perhaps avocado is something that can help with that system I'm not sure but I feel like spirit saying that if you are not allergic to avocado do you have a little bit don't overdo it okay what do you want us to know spirit this pain in my thumb is really Oh, maybe it will help with the pain in your thumb. I just heard rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, thank you. I'm not um I'm not here to transmute that for you. Please look after your diet. I have overcome so much through energy work through meditation through listening to spirit god whatever you want to call it us through cleaning up my diet i have a very strict diet the only i don't even know if you could even consider it a processed food the only processed food i have is coffee and plain potato chips that are just olive oil potato and sea salt that's it i don't indulge in anything else because my body absolutely rejects it sometimes as we level up it depends on your path my path i'm just hearing agathian um, requires me to be more in tune with earth and and eat the more directly i can eat from the earth and i'm vegan the better I'm not telling you to make any drastic changes. That's actually a really bad idea. And if you're going to become vegan, you need to do your research. There are trace elements that um, you get from eating meat that you do not get from just eating the normal three veg that meat eaters would eat. You need to have a varied diet. You need to do your research. And there is an awesome herbalist doctor on youtube called barbara o'neill look her up she's amazing okay i'm getting spider i'm just pulling things out as they catch my eye um i don't always leave it i usually don't actually leave it to chance is what i'm drawn to what the energies are um, so spider, this is also a, a Lego, so it's a, what country is Lego in? I'm getting drawn to the country that Lego was created in. Um, and I heard odd bod. <laughs> um, this guy's got like six eyes, but it looks like he's got two eyes and he's crying lots of tears it looks like he's had a like a kick in the ass <laughs> like a um stab or a cigarette burn or something like this and i'm being shown the tailbone um if you want to co-create with spirit if you want to do open your spiritual abilities without kind of floating off the earth you you really really need to do your earth star root sacral solar and heart bridge heart bridge is not a um chakra but your heart bridge is really important for joining the lower and higher chakras so just intend for that to be balanced so spiders are oh i heard hermaphrodite um 
Spiders are a symbol for me of co-creating a spirit. Okay. And this kind of camel caramel brown is drawing my attention. And I'm hearing Shady's back, guess who's back, guess who's back. Okay. And the midnight sky is the road I'm taking, head high up in the clouds. I was born to run, I don't belong to anyone. Alright, I'm getting these two. So we've got more Lego, more building blocks to health, bananas, you know, obviously potassium. I don't, um, I don't eat cane sugar, but I do eat fruit. So I get fructose, but I don't have it as, um, I don't drink a lot of fruit juice or smoothies or anything like that. I find it's better if I can uh, eat it slowly um, so the sugar has more time to process and you're getting the benefit of the saliva production and the acid production and the um, just the benefit of being full rather than having all that liquid fly through you and um, I'm being shown that the end of these are hexagons too. There's a whole cluster of them. But bananas are... I'm hearing a hand. I'm getting a hand because bananas are my symbol for pay attention. If you find them in a weird spot, like not on your kitchen bench or in the grocery store, or in a weird spot in the grocery store, that counts. Pay attention to what you're thinking about um, when you see that and the signs around you. Okay. Now what's this? Oh, this is also a banana, I think. Yeah, it's, I guess it's a banana. A banana, but it's split. Banana split. Well, I suppose if you're going to eat ice cream and stuff, if you can have a little bit of the ice cream and whatever and have mostly banana, that's better than all the, than just going hell for leather on the other stuff. Um, I'm getting a lot of resistance with this reading. All right, universe. What do you want us to know? Okay. That's different. Pick an angel. I wondered why they were there. Pick an angel. This angel is... Opalite. This one is Amethyst. And this one is Rose Quartz. Pick an angel. One, two, three. Pause if you need to ask a question and the universe will answer. Remember you are a spiritual warrior and you are going through initiation at this time. And remember to listen to your heart and just reading those cards. Hmm. Yeah. And there is always a bright side. Okay, no, I haven't asked for the... Okay, so... Angel 1, Opalite. Would you have to answer... Please answer the question on... Opalite Angel number 1's mind. All the viewers who... Okay. Okay. You have awesomely great shit ahead. Good stuff. This Lindy Jewel psychic medium, she must be Australian, I think. 
All right. Number two. Spirit, please, for angel number two, the amethyst angel. Everyone. Yep. Whoa. Walk the Frank away. Walk away. And you go away, fly. Shoo. And um, okay, spirit for number three, angel three, rose quartz. I'm hearing life is a mystery. Everyone must stand away. What a, there's a lot of like clouded. You need to do. Wow. You need to do balancing meditations, mind clearing meditations. Sit your ass on the earth. Drink water, eat salad. Eat other things as well, obviously. Listen to your doctor. Although I'd suggest one that is like a GP and a Chinese herbalist or a GP and a herbalist. Um, they, they just need to be a bit more expensive. Um, so anyway. Don't let your thoughts frank you over. And then that, that charm, which to me is now representing unhealthy choices and pay attention has just flipped over and I'm still getting the Madonna song life is a mystery everyone must stand alone I hear you call my name and it feels like home okay we get some sort of confirmation here spirit um for pile Pile three, four, angel, rose quartz pile. Just some confirmation for them that they know that this is definitely their pile, that this is definitely for them, or if they're asking about something, you know what to do. For my own spirit, what to do. Miss some. Well, which one was it then? Those. Okay. I'm also getting this charm. What's this charm? A rooster. Well, we got the E's. E E E E E. Blank. A E I U But the O is missing. Nobody owes you anything. Maybe they owe you money. Did you get a lesson from these people, from that person? Did you lose out financially, but... Did you make a proper agreement that they broke? Or did you assume if you brought them things and gave them things that you would get something out of them? Because that's not gift giving. That's buying somebody. That's gross. Take it as it resonates. Okay. All right. So for pile two for the amethyst angel. Just walk away with me. So we have uh, jade lucky cat like a chinese lucky cat i forget what they're called the happy ones the ones that you see in shops for prosperity 
in a while. I don't know why I'm here either. Okay. Oh, this is such a cute little charm. I brought this one especially because it was just too cute. Usually I find them. Sometimes I buy them, but usually I find them. So this whale is like baby blue, reminds me of Mother Mary, cream, gold, and it's got a little gold star with a diamond in it. Oh, I hope you can see because it's so pretty. Maybe this is something to do with the baby boy, even though the gender colors were mixed up, but I won't go into a history lesson. And you're losing sleep over this. Okay. If, if this is your child, do not abandon them. That is not what I'm suggesting. I'm saying the two stars now. Do not abandon them. It is okay to walk away from a baby to have a rest, but you know, just a little one. As long as they're safe, it's okay. I've had, I had twins and another one and I was chronically ill and in an abusive relationship and I got chronic fatigue. I know the value of rest. If you can get somebody to help you with your babies with or what with whatever is causing you to lose sleep just so that you can have some rest please do that if you, that is an option for you please do that and also something to do with music Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana guitar. I always think of Prince. There we go. Okay, some more clarifiers. Any letters? One. T. <clears throat> and for angel number one, opalite pile, please, spirit. The card was number two. You can't see that now. Um, signs, symbols, clarifiers. Oh, we've got the pink heffalum. Pink elephant. Gift from spirit. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And with awesomely great shit ahead. I'm actually getting baby vibes from this one as well. Well, not actually baby, like a toddler. Maybe you're going to be seeing a, a grandchild or a child or someone's coming into your life soon. Yeah. Little angel. Can you see that? Yeah. Not that one. Okay, well, which one then? That one. I'm not looking at these, these are just coming out through energy. I heard gravitas. I heard gnats. Um, that is actually a Z, but it's come out sideways. It's a G and an A. We have the numbers 1, 3, 10, 1. Uh, could be an angel number, could be lucky numbers, could boil down to an angel number. The T is a 1, sorry about the fly. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1. Okay, spirit, please tune me in. Do the dance the way you do. 
Yeah, it's all about the children. Um, there was a that song, Do the Dance, has got children singing it. There were children playing outside when we started. We've got children coming out. You know what? Maybe this person is just an adult but is a freaking child. Or maybe they're not in touch with their inner child. There's, some, there's something here that this... Um, to the T to the T want something done to the T Wisdom. Which one is where, where are we going? I'm just getting really irritated energy. Hermit's home. A house is but a simple building. A home, however, is the warmest kind of feeling. Place to land the sea, air plants in the home for resilience and healing. We'll call on the spirit of it. Oh, I'm hearing might as well just jump. I'm not an advocate for suicide. You're just going to have to come back and do it all again. Read my mind with the rest of it. And then this one. Or, you know, jump, make the leap, move away. Don't let yourself overthink. Is it too far to this? Oh, I'm hearing Avalon. Is this, is it too far? Is it? I don't think so. Not really. And then we've got the... I'm feeling like... Death and the Tower card in one here. I feel like the battles have been already fought... You just gotta let it crumble. Castle of Crows. Ancient memories are accompanied by deja vu. The crows signal your blessings loud and true. Meditate with Moqui stone in each hand and you will journey to shamanic lands. Where's this going? We have <clears throat> soda light for this pile. Don't let your thoughts prank you over. Number seven, um, solar plexus, sacral. 
um, yeah, citrine soda light as well, number 52. I was asking why um, this is feeling so drawn out for me why the messages aren't coming so clearly and um, they said it's because when I edit I'm going to be doing a lot of channeling too so okay fine and we have a bit of dolphin pleiadian playful energy and it's so perfect and smooth and but it's kind of looking away a little yeah, it's so walking away. It's looking away. Also, um, you've got the, you know, the purple, the violet, and the amethyst. Um, work with those rays. And, and Lord Melchizedek. Indecision, ego-based actions, and lifestyle change. Well, there you go. There you go. Number 22. Master Builder number. There's something about the past here. in the crown. Because we're all about the crown here, aren't we? With the purple. With the... Actually, playing music might help. Um, if you feel like you're not intuitive or psychic, if you play music, you're channeling. Um, unless you're doing it by numbers, really. Um, what you're walking away from will help you progress on your path on breaking free of karmic cycles. On... Um, What's that? Just notice the background here. It's like a tower or a chain of chain of towers. Yeah, look, I'm a Scorpio. We our lives are basically tower moments, building back up and then breaking down again. It's vicious. <laughs> It's a vicious cycle, but it gets us there quicker, right? So, all right, Melchizedek, is there something you want to say? Have you ever, have you ever thought of another path? Changing cycle 